Welcome on in, folks. This is Spruce and Studs, and once again, we have yet another action figure to review. In this one, we are going to be taking a look at the generic Dark Angels Master to see if there's really any difference between this one as well as Lazarus. And we're going to see if this action figure is going to be worth your hard-earned dollars. So there's nothing to do except to dive right on in. Dark Angels Master unboxing time. I don't really expect any difference from the packaging from the rest of the Space Marines. And here we go. All right, let's take an in-depth look at our Dark Angels Master. Completely generic, unlike Lazarus. So we are going to be taking a look at the helmeted area as usual. So on the helmet, you get to see some light highlights on the top of this action figure. And there is a Dark Angel sword right here, as well as nicely painted lenses right here. I really wish that the vents on this helmet was a little bit more darkened. However, this is what Joy Toy gave us. Now, flipping over to the pauldron, we have a Dark Angels monk on the right-hand side, and there is shading in between the feathers here. There is also a purity seal that is dangling down on this side, and we're going to flip over to the other side where the power fist resides. And you get to see the Dark Angels chapter symbol on the left pauldron right here. And there is absolutely no shading whatsoever on this one. And there is an angels print on this banner over here. And it looks like the print actually has no issues whatsoever. And now we are going to be taking a look at the front of this generic master. And just like Azrael, there is a chain that goes across the center of it with the same amulet. And underneath you have a winged sword too that has a bunch of highlights underneath here as well. There is a heraldic shield on the left hand side of this action figure and it appears that there are two different patterns, a checkered pattern as well as a sword on top of a halo I believe and there is another ribbon that is dangling down and with regards to the center area it mimics Lazarus a hundred percent with the reeses of the tunic shaded and we are now going to take a look at the arms so there's really nothing much to see on this particular arm here it is just a regular power armor arm but one thing I'll point out is there is nice highlights right here and as we flip over to the other side where the power fist is, you get to see a nice symbol of a sword stabbing through a skull with garlands and wreaths coming out from the sword right here. And there's no shading whatsoever on this part. With the power fist itself, it looks unfortunately very flat. There is no shading whatsoever in between any of these recesses. And I believe the shading would have been a little bit nice to see. Now we are moving on to the middle section of this action figure. And in the middle section, we have a holstered bolt pistol, some sort of carrying pouch, a feather, as well as some kind of incense lantern and a key. And these things we have seen in Master Lazarus as well. This dagger here, again, is fully functional. You can pull it out of its sheath. And as you can see, it looks 100% like Lazarus's dagger. And you can also see a Dark Angel's tome right here on the left-hand side. Now, looking at the tabard itself, there is some light shading over here and over here as well. But the shading is very faint and it is kind of hard to pick up on the camera. I'm going to flip this up. And once again, just like Lazarus, he has the same studs on his shin area and then small studs on the knee area as well on the left-hand side. Same thing with the skull. Now we're going to flip over to the other side here, taking a look at the tabard in the back. More of this light shading and then flipping this up. Really nothing much to see except these nice light highlights up top. So we're going to put this master down and take a look at the weapons that come with him the first is this power sword which i believe looks completely like lazarus's as well you have the characteristic dark gunmetal color transition all the way up to the light silver two blue color power nodes on one side and one on the other side and a skull winged hilt which is very cool 
put this down, pick up the bolt pistol, and the bolt pistol is obviously silver and red. However, this silver is completely non-weathered. So it looks like a very clean and pristine bolt pistol that really has never seen any action on the field of battle. Picking up this I would assume a master crafted bolter because of this nice purity seal that's dangling down. Once again, just like Master Lazarus, you have a red, black, and silver tone that is on this particular bolt rifle. Flipping over to the other side, it is pretty much the same thing, except that there is a Dark Angel sword here. And once again, I will comment on this bolt rifle is completely clean with no weathering whatsoever, so it looks kind of flat. Put the weapons down, we'll go over on this side and take a look at the cape. And once again, the cape is a nice gorgeous purple color with highlights that are on the highest points here. And then as you flip around to the other side, unlike Lazarus, this embroidery is simple looking, only that it has red lines that are running on the outside edges of this cape, and there also is some very light shading here in the recesses. It almost looks like it's kind of dirty, but that's what the shading looks like. Put this down, and then we're going to take a look at the backpack. And the backpack also has the winged skull sword with this halo on top. There are no highlights in between the feathers here. Flipping over to the other side, that is also the same case. With regards to the rest of this backpack, there are these spikes that are on top on each side of it and the rest of it once again looks 100 percent like lazarus's the final thing that we're going to be taking a look at is this guy's face and the biggest thing that you're going to notice is that he has some deep scarring that's running on the right hand side of him which would probably explain the existence of his bionic eye the bionic eye is actually really nice looking in that it's got a lens that has nice depth and detail to it which means that it's been undercoated a silver and highlighted a translucent red the eyes themselves have a piercing stare and it looks like it's was screened on fairly nicely he's got these studs on top as well he's sporting a frowny face and i will have to say that most of the regions on this face lack any kind of shading whatsoever However, on the ear part, there is shading as you can see here. And I'm going to wrap this up with my final thoughts. Alrighty then, we have the generic Dark Angels Master completely reviewed. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. So I'll let you know what I think about this figure. To be honest, there's nothing that really jumps out at me for this particular action figure. I know it is a generic Dark Angels Master, and he looks a little bit, well, generic and plain. And I suppose that's exactly what a Dark Angels Master is supposed to look like. There are, again, a few things that I like about this action figure. The first thing, obviously, is going to be the cape, just like I said in Lazarus's review. I really like how the cape is a purple color, which is completely different from the rest of the action figures, which is typically they are sporting a red color. And then the other thing that I also like is the face sculpt too. I'm not sure and I don't remember if this is more of a generic one too, but I think that this one has a lot of character, especially with the scarring. And because of that scarring, that's the reason why he is rocking a bionic eye. So the question is, should you get this action figure? I'm going to say that obviously for Dark Angels fans, uh, this is going to be a must get for you. However, with just regular action figure collectors that aren't fully invested in the dark angels maybe i would probably give this a pass i would probably pour my money into lazarus to be honest because obviously lazarus is a named special character and he's got that really cool looking helmet with the wings as well as that really cool pauldron on his left hand side so that is my take on this action figure. So this is Bruce and Studs. Once again, thank you so much for tuning into these action figure reviews. I appreciate all your supports and your comments in the comment section that you leave me. Well, most of them. But anyways, if you are unsubscribed, well, make sure to hit that subscribe button because 
This is the exact content I'm going to give you. Lots of in-depth looks on the action figure at hand. I spend more than your average action figure reviewer on these action figures because I love them and I love Warhammer 40k. And to the members of the channel, once again, you all are awesome and you are definitely making this channel grow. And I have all of you to thank for that. And once again, I'll see you all in the next one.